Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a functional equation. We have f of x plus y equals x times f of y and we're going to be finding f of x. So f of x could be defined on the set of real numbers, it could be continuous, so on and so forth. All these nice things could happen. So in a lot of these function, functional equations we use substitution as an effective method. So I'm going to replace x with uh, certain things. And for my purposes, I would like to start with x equals 2. And then I'll tell you what I'm planning to do. So if I replace x with 2, I get f of 2 plus y is equal to 2 times f of y. So that gives me some type of relationship. Now my goal is to get f of 2 plus y from the given equation in a different way. How can I do that? Well, since we have, uh, you know, a lot of freedom here in terms of, you know, x and y, we can just replace x with, we can replace x with 1 and y with 1 plus y. I'm not writing the equal sign because y does, in, does not equal y, 1 plus y. Maybe I should just use an arrow. Replace x with 1 and here the same thing, replace x with 2 instead of just writing x equals 2. Okay, even though that's they're pretty equivalent. Anyway, so I'm going to replace y with 1 plus y and x with 1. And let's see what happens. I get f of 1 plus 1 plus y. And then on the right hand side, x is going to be 1 and y is going to be 1 plus y. Now, some people are going to be questioning, like, how can you replace y with 1 plus y? Well, it's possible because 1 plus y is another variable. You can basically replace any variable with another variable uh, as long as you're not violating any of the conditions. So this gives us something nice f of 2 plus y equals f of 1 plus y. So that's kind of like an interesting relationship because we're adding different things to y but we're getting the same answer. So does that mean f is a constant function? Is that linear? Is that something else? Let's find out. Now I was trying to get f of 2 plus y in two different ways and I did. So this is f of 2 plus y and this is f of 2 plus y. Since two things are equal to the same thing then they're equal. So I can safely say that from here 2 times f of y is equal to f of 1 plus y. Now how does this help us, right? Well, look at the right hand side. We have f of 1 plus y and look at the original equation here we can actually use that to obtain f of 1 plus y. So if you replace x with 1 and leave the y unchanged, you get the following. f of 1 plus y equals 1 times f of y. Oops, I wrote f of 2. f of y, right? Just replace x with 1 here and here and then leave the y unchanged. And that's what you get. Great. So this gave us f of 1 plus y in a different way, f of 1 plus y from here becomes f of y. Again, that's kind of interesting that we're adding something to y but it's unchanged. So let's go ahead and put these two together now. Since um, f of 1 plus y is equal to f of y, I can just put these together and write this as f of 2 plus y, you know, and remember f of 2 plus y is equal to 2 times f of y. So that means uh, 2f of y is equal to, f of, this means f of 1 plus y can be written as 2f of y. Okay, I'm kind of confusing myself here. So using two of these equations like these two, I can safely say that 2 times f of y is the same as f of 1 plus y, which is f of y. So now I can just uh, set this equal to f of y because f of 1 plus y is equal to f of y as well. Okay, now what does this tell you? If you kind of focus on this part, you get something very, very helpful. So we get 2 f of y equals f of y here. How can a number multiply by 2 equal the number itself? Is that possible? It is when that number is 0. But how do you find that out? You are supposed to subtract f of y from both sides. Now, if you make the common mistake, like when you get an equation like this, 2x equals x, cross out the x's and you end up with something like 2 equals 1, which is obviously false, right? Because you're not allowed to divide both sides by x because x is equal to 0. Okay, so from here we get 
f of y is equal to zero. Now, what is that supposed to mean? Like when we find something like f of zero equals zero, that is a particular point. But here we are getting that uh, in the general sense. So if you replace y with x, since this is a function and I can do that, f of x is equal to zero. So basically our function is the zero function, the function that satisfies the original equation, which was given as f of x plus y equals, let me rewrite the original one, x times f of y is the zero function, which means that any input will be mapped to zero. And if you kind of plug that in, you're gonna notice that it's always true because if this is zero and this is zero, this is always gonna be true regardless of the x value. So our function is the zero function. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.